Welcome back to Blast Guys Reviews. In this review, we're going to be taking a look at this McFarlane Toys Batman 1966 Batcave. I had to be on a figure hunt, and I found this at a Target for like $29.99. And they had the figures, which are a 112 scale, which is like around 6 inches. And they were way larger than this Batcave. So this is no way near a 112 scale Batcave. But for, for me, since I'm a big 118 scale action figure collector this looks like it's more on the 118 scale than anything else it may be a little bit off but we're going to take a look in this video and examine this McFarlane toy bat cave and see if what scale it is if it works on 118th or not so join me and we'll start taking a look at the box here so we have a very large window box in the front blue trim at the top on the left we have DC on the right we have Recommended for ages 12 and above. There on the left, we have the Batman Classic TV Series logo. And at the bottom, we have the white nameplate of the Batcave. This is the top of the box. It's done like blue and light blue polka dots. The Batman logo and the McFarlane Toys logo on the top right there. Okay, here on this side of the box, we can see that the window box wraps around the side with the orange and blue trim. On this side of the box, there's my foreign toys up there in the blue trim. The Batman logo, uh, looks like we have Adam West there, but standing beside a uh, computer console. Here is the bottom of the box. If you're looking for this, I'll show you guys the UPC. That way you can call Target or go on the website and see if you can find this if you're interested in purchasing it. Here on the back of the packaging, we have... Uh, 1966 Batman logo. We can see some of the uh, play sets displayed there on the top. The McFarlane Toys logo. The Batcave. Here is a little bit of the uh, computer panel that says beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. Then we have the 24 inches. Um, this thing's supposed to be 24 inches long. And uh, it doesn't look like it's 24 inches in the box, but because the Batmobile is only about like 16 inches, so. It could be. We'll find out. Alright, so let's get this out of packaging and see what it looks like. So there's a look out of it straight outside the packaging. You see it's very well compact in that little box. It's the side. Other side. That side. It's kind of sitting in like a tray. Pretty cool. Here's what the top of it looks like. And then you get this in the box. It is actually the flooring of the Batcave and it is cardboard. So it's just a two-tone orange piece, piece of cardboard. So here's a, pretty much the main piece out of the box. Everything you see here is pre-assembled and attached. So we have the very nice rock back wall. We have some hinges right here. And we have hinges here so you can bend there. There's an articulation here. The poles are kind of already pre-staggered as a uh, a bent piece. Then we have the two articulated walls here. Then we have the silver cylinders there. Now, if you actually span this thing completely out from this point to the other side, it's actually 28 inches long. But then you also, well, if you don't want to have a straight piece wall, you bend it in. You can obviously shrink down the overall length. For our purposes, that's what we're going to do so we can try to keep it within our camera base because sometimes I have to hold the camera because this is actually pretty large and hard to keep it, you know, nice close um, viewing. Now the materials, the walk wall is real nice. This nice and solid piece feels good. Nicely uh, sculpted and detailed and painted. These here look like two pieces that are just... Um, if you would cut in half, they're hollowed out inside if they're very thin. This is actually a same scale plastic as this. Um, a little thinner, more you wouldn't expect it in more of a generic toy. But the rock wall is a different harder plastic. But I mean this isn't bad at all. It's definitely a different type of uh, PVC. Um so but overall it looks good for what it's worth so far. Okay, so for scaling purposes, um, unfortunately I don't have a 112 scale Batman, but I do have a 118 scale Batman. So we're going to have Bebop here take the place of our 
112 scale Batman. So just for reference, here's a scale, here's some tape measure. You can see that Bebop's about six inches, and the Batman is actually just a, you know, around four inches because that's your standard 118 scale anymore. So we'll use these guys as reference for all the parts that we're going to be taking a look at and for scale purposes. So one of the really cool features of this set is going to be all the computer consoles you get. So we'll start off with by taking a look at those. Here's our first one. You can see that it has now the stickers are really um, on the lower grade type of stickers. They're not your adhesive one like you get with your GI Joes. These are more like you get like with Legos, for example. So you know my recommendation is if you want this for a long time. You're probably going to have to seal these stickers. So, you have a couple on here coming out of the box. You can see a little bit of pill in the corners. You might want to maybe hodgepodge them to seal them down for you know a long duration. That works pretty good. This is our very first one. Have some kind of device here on top. They're done in like a in the same color as the poles, like a silverish gray color. Um, but unfortunately, they are all hollow on the back. So this is how our first one will scale with Batman and Bebop. So again, there's no way these are 112 scale. This one's even uh, smaller than you would probably would recommend for a 118 scale. So that's our first one. We'll put back here. Our second one is this piece. It's some kind of computer console. We have a, a sticker here. All kind of um, gadgets. We have blue stickers here on the legs. And you have a lot of sculpt work here. I mean, if you want to paint that up to make that look even a little better, if you want to customize it, that would definitely make these things pop. And again, the hollow on the back. Here is the overall size comparison. And you can see, like, you know, he fits very well with Batman. So if Batman was here, you know, he could do some serious computing, I guess. So that looks very good for 118 scale. Not so good for the 112 scale. So our next piece is going to be a desk. We have a piece here on the top. Keyboard sticker and some blue here on the, on the desk surface. Some painted on drawers. Not really painted, I'm sorry. These are stickers around the sculpted handles. So yeah, that's definitely something you want to probably want to seal side of it. The back of it's pretty hollow and pretty thinned out. And again, here he is with the scaling with the 118th versus the 112th. It looks pretty, pretty on par for the 118 scale again. And then we have this little taller one here. This is called a back computer, according to the sticker. Then we have the two different uh, labels here. Some more sculpt work there. Here on the side, some buttons. We have some keyboard um, stickers and some blue on the front of this. Hollowed out in the back. About that thin. Here's comparison for our scaling purposes. And this one, they may be just a little higher than you would want for your 118 scale. Unless, you know, it's meant for a Batman to reach up. And it may be more on par for a 112th for that one. That's interesting, right? So next up is we have these larger ones. They really um, give you these bags. And you can see there's some inside, tucked inside of there. So I'm going to go ahead and get this out of there. I'm going to take a look and see what we got. We have another computer memory bank. Some, some more decals here, here, and here. Very thin. For scaling purposes, we have the, I'm going to go with the 118 scale on that one also. And the next one up here, wrapped in plastic, plastic, in tissue, we have this one. The taller one, we have the very large uh, sticker here on the top and bottom. Keyboard pads there, assuming some kind of button, some, that can definitely be some really good sculpt work there. And for scaling purposes, I guess, um, 
it's kind of in between in my opinion on that one because it's like you could have batman looking up and bebop looking down it kind of looks too small for the 112 scale but yeah it is what it is i guess so put him over here and then next one we have this very large stickers here here and here same principle with the uh buttons we have this device on top hollowed out for scaling purposes we have that wow so that is more i mean the buttons are way down for your 112 scale perfect 118th but your monitor is huge that's something you maybe you look at at a distance i'm not sure but it looks like you do get another one of those so i'm gonna go ahead and unpack these three and we're going to see what we, uh, if these are the same monitors or same computer banks that we just looked at. Okay, out of that packaging, it looks like you do get another one of these. So that works. And then it looks like you do get another one of this one we just looked at previously, which is this one. So you get two of those. So we'll move these guys out of the way because... You did get one newer one that we haven't seen yet, which would be a filing cabinet here. U.S. and Canada crime photo files, international crime photo files. And this one's not labeled. Very uh, thin type of filing cabinet. So you're going to want to put that up against a wall. And again, for scaling purposes, we have a... I mean, these drawers are huge. Um, they little high for a filing cabinet for 18 scale. they little small for 112. So we're in between scales somewhere with this thing so far. Okay, next baggie, we have a little bag of computer and additional parts. That's what we got here. It looks like we have a, another type desk, navigational aid. We have a decal here that's pretty not centered correctly. We do have a decal here, or a sticker, and a sticker here with a keyboard and a desk. So we have our filing cabinet we move out of the way. And this desk is definitely going to be going towards the 118 scale, in my opinion. Because we have this desk. We're getting congested here with all these different computer banks and desks. They're about the same size. And then with Batman... Again, perfect fit. Now on this one, if you he's a little shorter than the desktop, but if he was sitting, I don't know if that would cause an issue. Maybe he'd be re reaching upward instead of you know your traditional sitting in the uh, you know level with your elbows of your figures. So that's those two, and that's it for the computer panels. But we do get a couple railings. We get this keep off atomic pile. There's some skull cross bones. Super high, high voltage symbol there. It's actually on it pretty good. Nothing on the back. And then we get these two bases. I'm assuming, assuming these are for the um, bat poles. And then we get this little guardrail here. Pretty small. Now let's uh, select these out of the way. We have a lot of these to look at. I do do like all the computer slash furniture we get but that's pretty cool so this is a guard rail <laughs> kind of even short for the 118 scale and then we have well that's just like that's just ridiculous for 112 scale even the little one is the same height for those guys so those go on top of the back cave uh, Computer, massive, whatever that thing is, console. That's in the back in red there. And then we get these railings. This is a pre-shaped, I miss half, like maybe an octagon or something. Back of it. And for scaling purposes, it's a little, a little better for the 118 scale. But eh, quite short for, you know, your 112 scale. I'm surprised I haven't screwed these all to scale versus I scale up yet. <laughs> really. So that's how that looks. So it looks, I think it looks better for Batman than the other ones. Um, that goes around the body, the base. 
So the last piece I found here is this ladder. It's a yellow ladder. And it's warped, as you can see. So might have to heat this up, put something heavy on it for a while. And let it uh, try to reform it. So for scale purposes, here is the ladder. Definitely no way Bebop's climbing that ladder. My 18 scale? Oh yeah, works perfectly. A little small, but you know, not too bad. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and put these rollings on real quick and maybe set up the diagram on that's shown on the box. We'll do a couple comparison with our two models here and uh, see where we go, see how it looks, and we'll wrap this video up. Okay, so in a semi process here on this bottom rail, you're going to be very careful when you push on the um, rolling because you could definitely break these. So don't push in the middle. I want to push at the top. Try to get as close as you can to the bottom. But one thing I'm finding that, see how that just bent on me. These things do not want to stay in there very easily. So I'm not sure if I'm, you know, maybe you, you got to be very careful and uh, you want to break it. So. There's very little any space in there to put. I can't even get the Batman in the front. His feet hits the. He's up against the back. I can slide him in over here. In the side there. But obviously there is no way I'm going to get a 112 scale figure in there. So I just want to go ahead and show you guys that. Before we moved on. And um, go from there. So for the top of the back cave, we do have a dozen scale well, kind of in my opinion, right, either one of them. More for the 118 scale, but you know, but definitely no way for the 112 scale. A little short on the safety rails for, but it is what it is, I guess. So that doesn't really scale with either one. So here's kind of Batman crawling up the um, ladder. You know, it looks pretty good for 118 scale. No way for 112 scale. But I will say these these railings in the ladder are very soft plastic. And they want to bend very easily. And uh, this figure here is an older figure. Um, but uh, it doesn't flex a lot. So I think the railing wants to give more than a hand does. So you may break or leave some pretty good stress marks. If you go ahead and you apply Batman to the ladder which more than likely could do with a little bit of effort so we have the uh, bat pole holes basically that show you those they look like this you get two of them see how flexible that is and they just simply go into the base here like so and they don't stand on their own that's why they have those hooks so you go hook them to the back of the uh, cave wall so here's our bat poles. Uh, they're just basically, they just hook onto the top of there. They're not very sturdy. They're just kind of sitting on there. You can see here, I can move them around pretty good. But they're notched off to catch it. And then they slide down. Um, for scaling purposes, I think it's more on a 118 scale than the actual 112 scale figures that they are making to go along with these play sets. Okay, here's our back cave fully assembled as shown on the box. Do have our cardboard floor mat. And for scaling purposes, there is our two models for different scales. You can see that, in my opinion, I think the 118 scale Batman looks more fitting than the 112 scale stand-in for Batman. And here's what it looks like with the McFarlane Batmobile that has been just released with this Batcave. You can see also it is not in scale with their figures that they're releasing. Um, looks pretty good in the Batcave and I... Looks pretty good for 118 scale. To me, this is more a 116 scale vehicle. But uh, I did a review for the Batman figure. I did a review for the Batmobile and now the Batcave. If you want to check those out, I'm going to add them in a playlist. And starting with Batman. So if you guys are interested in those three videos, you can view them. 
But I'll give you an overall look at this set with the back cave. And then I'm going to throw a Batman in there just for fun. Okay, I, you know what? Let's do a Bebop in there for a size comparison anyway. But there's the Batman. Looks fantastic for me, for my opinion, for my collection. I think this works. So, let me know what you guys think. I think it's actually a pretty cool set for the price. So my final thoughts on this, um, it's $29.99 at Target. I mean, the, getting the computer, well, the Batmobile is moving by itself. That's pretty cool. Anyway, um, computer can, computer panels are kind of worth, you know, this set. And, and the wall piece is very nice. Even though the computer panels are very, you know, hollow in the back. But uh, they got a lot of detail in these the stickers. So if you say a few hodgepodge them, you can use them. You can use them for if you wanted to any of your play sets uh, to enhance the uh, your computer monitoring room base, whatever you want to call it. Um, there's different types of plastic. The wall is a higher grade plastic than the the red, whatever that's called. The pillars and the red base in the back. The overall power is that the power source, the reactor. I don't know. Um, the most thinnest plastic has got to be the guard rails and the ladder. So I'd be very careful about how you push those pieces in or manipulate it with figures. Because they definitely, I can see already being prone to stress marks from being, you know, hands grabbing it or you, you pushing down on it. or And, you know, once you get a stress mark in your plastic, you're pretty much done. Um, it's there forever and it kills the overall look. Um, you get the cardboard cut out for the floor it's kind of a cop out in, in my way for for our companies i'm not a big fan of cardboard cutouts um especially that's just basic cardboard it's nothing there's no high quality card stock to that so so there you go um you know i don't know what scale you want to claim this as 1 12th you know 1 16th 1 18th i have no idea but I know for a fact right now it's more leaning toward a 118. There's more pieces that favor the 118 scale than the 112 scale, which you know their figures are pretty much uh, designed around. Uh, because if this was a 112 scale, this would be massive, and um, so it looks really cool. I do recommend it. With you know, be careful with the plastics and materials. Um, I hope you guys like this um, review. Let me go, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate that. Help me out a lot. Don't forget to you know hit give a thumbs up if you like this content and you know, I made an effort to show you what scale this was so you guys can help you decide if you want to spend your hard-earned dollars on it. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in our next review.